Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. This time round, we are not gonna talk about a gacha that is for an event, but rather, it's been a while, but we have not done anything like this since, I don't know, a year back. Uh, this time round, we're gonna talk about a Diva's birthday gacha. Um, so, Dana has been starting to play smart when it comes to marketing for the birthday step up gacha. It has never happened before, this is the first time it has occurred. And what, what better way to start things off but with the number one diva's birthday and of course that is Cheryl Gnome. So as you can tell, the gacha for her birthday step up features a brand new episode play image. Um, if you guys have been following me on my Facebook YouTube page, uh, which you can find the link in the description down below as always, make sure you uh, like the page so you can not lose out on any of the important Utah Cross information that I do not feature in my videos, make sure you join me there so that you can keep up to date with all the translated information that I usually do for Utah Cross and of course maybe Pokemon Masters. Uh, if you're interested into the game or if you're a Pokemon maniac just like me. So yeah, let's talk about the brand new episode plate for Cheryl's birthday. And of course, it's featured in a step up gacha, which means you need to actually pull up to step 4 to get a guaranteed 5 star episode plate. And of course, straight off the bat, you can see here it's being promoted that, you know, Cheryl's gacha comes with this life skill and of course that total amount of max uh, total score but that's before the plus 25 luck value and of course it features very nicely drawn illustration um, for her episode play as well so when you evolve it of course Elto and Ranka pops into the picture and it, except for Grace in the previous uh, I would say rarity of the episode play so yeah so very very adorable illustration for Cheryl you can see here she's being that shy girl being surprised by Elto with that bottle of champagne you know fantastic fantastic stuff now of course you have that wonderful birthday cake with Cheryl's logo on top of it so yeah let's take a look at the episode plate itself and see how does it actually fare being that it is the first of its kind uh, Diva's birthday episode plate so 3852 total score it is very very high considering it is with a plus 25 value so i can roughly gauge that this episode plate itself is going to be one of the top tier episode plates that you definitely want to try and obtain uh so yeah let's break down the rest of the the soul voice and charm all have similar high stats as well of course the one being the main focus will be voice and of course you want to pay attention to the three other divas who can make use of this episode played with Mikomo Ranka and of course Basara surprisingly Basara is inside <laughs> all right so it doesn't have a very high ranking S uh, center skill so it's just total up so it's just units total boost by 20% up uh, with that said, you can roughly guess uh, that Cheryl's episode plate is meant to be used as a support episode plate which is also fantastic because you can never have enough support episode plates but of course there is also the lack in good center episode plates as well. So that's why you need to really break things down and really decide for yourself You know, if you want to toss in your actual real life money uh, in buying the singing stone packs and to try pulling this gacha. All right, so let's move to the second page. Active skill for seven seconds, your combos do not break. So her active skill is not the best because we've definitely seen longer duration active skills than this. Uh, that's why it has an A rank for its active skill. All right, but the main focus for this episode plate is actually its life skill. So S rank combo bonus so it contains the brand new 
life skill that was recently implemented into the game. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. So during Cho Utahime mode, uh, for 10 seconds, you know, for every 50 note combo that you've attained, it will give you that 35% boost in score. Wow, 35 is actually pretty high. We've seen 25% for a combo bonus, but this might be its first of its kind with a 35% boost. You know, so that's pretty awesome. Huh. So this episode played with a very good average uh you know total score plus a life skill with a pretty decent 35% boost for every 50 combo even though the life skill is kind of like a double-edged sword so if you have no idea what I mean you need to watch my other videos talking about episode plates like this uh, so yeah uh, I would say this is definitely one of those episode plates that you will definitely want to have in your collection and of course focusing on yellow element songs so yeah um, sadly to say no attachment to the special notes so that's kind of a bummer so it doesn't really put it into the top top tier ranking uh, so it is kind of still in the top placing few but not the highest or the best of the best all right so with all of that said hopefully that kind of give you the deciding factor on whether to pull this gacha or not if not if you happen to have 300 singing stones sitting around you know, spare, even though you have stored up quite a bit, you know, just for the upcoming few uh, gachas for the end of the month that's gonna happen. You know, why not pull and try and obtain this pretty awesome, wonderful illustration for Cheryl's birthday step up gacha. So I am gonna go all the way to step four to get myself that guaranteed five star episode play and hopefully, hopefully, uh, if luck plays out well, you might actually see this episode plate evolve and of course having it added to my own collection as well so let's do this guys the first template pool at the discounted 300 singing stones pretty fantastic even though the drop rate is of a normal gacha pool oh, we do get some loading there so hopefully that's some sign of good news one two three Five, so there's a chance of a rainbow box. One red box on the first blink. Oh, it became a rainbow straight away. So no red boxes late for later on. So that's kind of a bummer. Oh right, uh, I forgot to mention that um, this episode plate that's featured for her birthday uh, actually gives you costume points for the red crimson costume that she has. The one that was featured in the last. Uh, Cheryl Gnome food, uh, food. What was that? Kuji. Uh, that, it's not an Ichiban Kuji, but a figure spirit Kuji, the one with the red crimson queen dress, I guess. Uh, I think I butchered the name of the costume, but <laughs> it's somewhere along that line. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell, I'm not a big Cheryl Gnome fan, so I don't really memorize everything for Cheryl. <laughs> So, alright, here we go, the rainbow box that we do have. Oh, okay, it's not the t-shirt birthday episode plate, but it's still a 5 star episode plate. I am pretty grateful for it. Um, even though I've already evolved that plate, it does give you that secret board unlocking. So it brings me closer to the Kira effect, and of course, um, it'll give me more costume points. You know, to unlock more episode orbs that I might need for future costumes. Uh, considering that uh, the Macross crossover life uh, Matsuri is not ending anytime soon. I see it going into December. And, you know, because there's still five divas who have yet to unlock their crossover costumes. So, yeah. Um, Alright, so let's go into step two, which is the... Um, double rate up for 5 star appearance but of course at the usual price of 500 sing stones so that's kind of a big burn in the pocket but it's okay you know oh we do get some more loading it's not that slow so there is still a tendency of not getting any rainbow boxes yep so it feels like it so this round is gonna be a bummer 
Oh, we do get two red boxes though. Oh, wow! So, by jinxing myself, I unjinx myself? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's see if any of the red boxes actually evolve as well. That would be fantastic if they do. Oh, we go straight to the rainbow box. Oh, it is not the birthday plate, but we are pulling lots of Cheryl love. I mean, after all, it is a Cheryl non birthday gacha, so I'm sure all the five star episode picks featured belong to Cheryl. <laughs> uh, if that makes sense. Alright, so first Rainbow Box did not evolve. We did get the boyfriend out. Um, well, he isn't officially her boyfriend, considering that if you are looking at the Macross Frontier movie ending, he, he kind of gets um, stranded. <laughs> so, not exactly well with that status of an actual boyfriend but you know what I mean Macross fans will definitely know what I mean <laughs> alright so um oh I don't have that episode plate ooh wow I actually got enough costume points to unlock a wedding dress okay so pretty awesome new plate added new costume added to my collection as well I'd say it's a win win Alright, so a little bit of Cheryl love. Uh, definitely it's easier to get some love from Cheryl because I've been focusing a lot on my waifu, Ranka. So yeah, step 3. So it's a slightly discounted normal rate pool. So here we go. Burning more singing stones just for that um, adorable illustration episode plate. Oh, we do get some loading. So there's a chance of new episode plates popping up. Wow, not even a single Valkyrie. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so I guess this is the bummer of the bummer. And there we go, the worst of the worst. Unless that red box actually evolves. I don't know. It might happen. But I have really low expectations of it happening. So, there we go. Lots of... Terra Gnome Love and all the common stuff. Oh, you did get one Ranka. Okay. Lots of repeats. And here we go. The only red box. Ah, we've got plenty of these. So let's move on. Oh, we do get some new plates though. And they are fully evolved. Pretty fantastic. Alright, so here it is. The deciding last. Step 4 pool, and wow, I just burned it, like, wait, it, it used to be a 1,700 singing stones to do all step 4, but now that the first one is discounted to 300, uh, that will be, that will actually make it 2,005, 1,005 singing stones to do an entire birthday step up to step 4, so, alright, here we go, hopefully that guaranteed 5 star episode plate gives me the birthday episode plate, here we go. Okay, that's to be expected. Alright, first blink two red boxes. Ooh! Oh, wow! Okay, so we don't get rare boxes at the end of this gacha pool, but you know, two rainbow boxes. Hopefully, they are duplicates of the same birthday episode plate. I'm, I'm hoping for that. <laughs> I would love to see that happen. Alright. So, we have seen normal silver boxes evolve to rainbow ones before, but you know, I doubt it will actually happen this time around. Alright, here we go, the first rainbow box. Ah, oh, okay, we get to evolve this brand new plate for myself. Uh, that's pretty fantastic in a way. At least I have a brand new blue episode plate to use. Oh my goodness! I, I wish for double duplicates, but come on! <laughs> it would have been nice if at least one of them was the brand new birthday illustration plate. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I don't know. I, I think it's a good pool, but at the same time, it was terrible. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... If you guys didn't know by now, my blue plate collection is actually the most overpowered one. 
Although there are actually more yellow episode plates uh, present in Wukong Macross, uh, even though my weakest set for Wukong Macross is actually the yellow elements, so even though there are so many episode plates for the yellow side, I don't really have any good ones or you know they are not like powered up with luck value that kind of stuff because there are just too many of them so that's why the yellow element plates are currently the weakest for me i'm sure they are pretty much the same for some, most of you out there if you guys actually have a good set of yellow that's pretty lucky of you which you can actually tackle the current event for Daketo baby easily so yeah Right now, my best collection is actually belonging to the Soul or Blue Element side. So yeah, looking at this gacha, it's definitely in that way. <laughs> so I really wished I actually had obtained that birthday gacha plate because it was of the Yellow Element and I would definitely love to have a powerful Yellow Element plate in my lineup. Oh, okay. So anyway guys, hopefully you watched through the entire thing and enjoyed my kind of despair <laughs> throughout the whole 4 template pools. Uh, of course, as usual, let me know by hitting the like button to this video if you appreciate the content and of course you enjoyed my despair. <laughs> and of course, leave your comments down below. What do you think about the episode plate? And of course, let me know how do you guys do for your own personal pools if you actually did pool for Cheryl's birthday gacha. And of course, share the love on my cross by this video. This video. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross gacha video. Until then, bye! Oh yeah! Subscribe! <laughs>